Hello and welcome to this uh, another game of Chain of Command. This one's with a bit of a twist. This one is set in a galaxy far, far away. Uh, this is going to be a Star Wars Chain of Command game. I've not played one of these for a long time. I think one of my first solo AARs was actually a Chain of Command Star Wars game. So I want to kind of revisit it uh, with some of the new techniques that I use for After Action Reports and just see if I can make a better video and also just, you know, uh, a different kind of game as well. Uh, this is all based on the Star Wars Chain of Command adaptation. There is a Star Wars Chain of Command Facebook page, which uh, if you're interested in this, I urge you to, to join because there's all the things you need there to play the game. Uh, this is a pretty simple one. This is a, a, a defending a position. Uh, the rebels are in defence over here in this little area uh, while the Imperials are attacking through. This is a, a jungle planet somewhere on the outer rim, so we're... Uh, uh, a bit of an interesting theme to what I've usually been playing recently uh, on the Eastern Front in the Second World War. Anyway, I'll do what I normally do. I'll show you the troops involved. I'll talk about them. I'll show you the table. And then we'll crack on with this game. So this is our table uh, from the Imperials' point of view. They're going up the long end of long axis of the table itself. Uh, through these jungle bits and pieces here, you can see, uh, and into this compound, a uh, little smuggler's compound, uh, which is slightly defended with some power generators behind it as well and a bit more um, jungle here. This is uh, a delaying action for the rebels. They're trying to get off this planet uh, while the rebel, uh, while the Imperials are closing them down to crush them. So I've done the patrol phase as usual uh, and I've already set up the jumping off points for the rebels. The first one is here, this little droid behind the power converters at the back here. Well, shield generator should I say. Uh, we've also got another one here, this droid here, this medical droid behind the tower building and then we've also got this crashed uh, st uh, speeder bike which is their third jumping off point. The Imperials they managed to push quite far forward they've got a jumping off point here this is one of their droid jumping off points. They have another one over here this is one of their, their second jumping off points, so you can see how quite close they are. And then they also have a third one on this gonk droid, which again is on this flank. So they are quite far forward for this game. Anyway, I'll show you the, the, uh, the forces involved and we'll crack on. So our Imperial forces consist of three sections, each of nine men, one of them a junior leader, a weapons team with a uh, repeating blaster and uh, second crewman, and then six uh, stormtrooper rifles. There should actually be four um, sections in each of the stormtrooper platoons, but I just don't have enough stormtrooper figures. Unfortunately, I need to get some more. So what I've done is I've bulked it up with a six-man uh, scout team as well, a scout section here. So that's a, got a junior leader and then just five scouts. Uh, they can be split down into small groups if needs be. They've also got uh, an anti-vehicle rocket launcher as part of the headquarters and a lieutenant and a sergeant as well as their uh, senior leader and junior leader, uh, two senior leaders, sorry. They've also got, you'll see here in the centre, a bounty hunter uh, unit or uh, squad. So this is uh, Boba Fett and uh, Bosk. They've come along for the ride. Uh, one of these is the junior leader. That's most likely going to be Boba Fett. And they've also got some armour as well. So they've got the ATST as their heavy support. This is a Mark III version, so it's got all the weapons on it. Uh, as a la the, uh, the rules for the Star Wars chain of command. So it's quite a heavy hitting force. Uh, and let's see if they do a lot of damage on the Rebels. And now here we have the Rebels. Uh, so again, their platoon is similar to the Stormtroopers in that it's four sections each of uh, six uh, blasters with a weapons team of a heavy blaster and a uh, uh, crewman and then a junior leader. And that's there's four of those. Uh, they also have their commanders, their two senior leaders here. Uh, they also have... Uh, this is either an ion cannon or a rocket launcher uh, team. Uh, I'm going to give them a rocket launcher because there's armour in the area. Uh, and then we've also got a Jedi personality as well. Uh, in this case, it's Luke Skywalker. So he's helping the rear guard action. Uh, he's, got, he's armed with a lightsaber. And also the Force users have 
various uh, little tricks up their sleeve that they can use uh, with dice rolls and with reactivating units and things like that throughout the game itself. So he should be fairly useful. Uh, he did cost quite a lot of force, uh, support points. So we'll see how useful he is in the game itself. But anyway, uh, let's get on with the game and let's see which side the force is with. As the attackers, we're beginning with the Imperials. It's their uh, their commander all first of all, so let's see what they get. Okay, we got a uh, 5, so that gives them a chain of command points straight away. Oh, sorry, I didn't forget. Uh, their force morale, the Imperials are on 10, the Rebels are on 8. Obviously, they're, they're shaken, trying to get off this planet. Uh, so we've got a 5 for the force morale. Uh, they've got a 6, does nothing alone. The 4 is a senior leader, 3 is a junior leader, and 2 is a section. So in the first turn, the Imperials have used their junior leader to bring on the ATST because that's commanded by one. They've also brought on the section, the first section. They've also brought on their sergeant's senior leader, and he's put this section on Overwatch as well. So they're already making advances on the Rebels uh, compound. Okay, back to our Rebels. Well, their first turn. So we've got six and another six. So they retain the, the, uh, the turn, which is pretty good. That's very useful. They also have senior leader, uh, a junior leader, and a team as well. So again, actually, that's a pretty good, useful um, role that they need. So we have our first round of firing. The rebels have brought on a section and their sergeant senior leader to prop them up as well. I was going to bring on the team of the uh, anti-tank gun, but I thought I'm going to leave it off because it might be able to do an ambush at some point in the future. So I didn't want to get it too exposed. But we've got here, we've got a T21 repeating blaster plus 7 rifles, so that's 10 dice in total. The Imperials are in light cover, the uh, Rebels are in heavy cover because they're behind those barricades. But we need 4, 5s and 6s to hit anyway, so we're starting with these. The Imperials will get to fire back because they're on Overwatch, so they'll get to react to this fire, but they, the Rebels fire first. So let's have a look, 4, 5s and 6s are hits. Where misses on. So that's five hits. There's two teams in there. Uh, there's also a couple of leaders as well. So I'm going to take two hits on the weapons team and then three hits on the section itself. Light cover, six is a kill, four five is shock. So let's see what we've got. So the weapons team has got one shock. Sorry, the, uh, the rifles have got one shock. And then on that weapons team, uh, so we've got one kill uh, and nothing, so just one kill off so far. So they've survived that hail of bullets. So they get to fire back with their overwatch, so we'll take that off. Now they're firing with 15, because they've got a uh, repeating blaster, uh, which gives them 8 firepower and then another 7 from the rest of the squad. So we are looking again, 4, 5, 6 is a hit, but again these guys... Oh, I've just remembered. Let's just see if it's the uh, junior leader or the section, uh, the senior leader. A one, and it is. He's the one that's hit. No, he's not. Right, so <clears throat> back to the rebels. Shooting out the rebels. So four, five, six is a hit. Uh, so again, get rid of all these misses. And that's what you, more you would expect with that amount of dice. So we've got three, six, nine hits this time. As I say, these are in heavy cover, so six of the kills, five is shock. Again, there are two teams in there, so we've got to split the fire between the two of them. So five is going to go on to the rifles, and four on that weapons team. With senior leaders in there as well, so let's have a look. Uh, so we've got a kill and a shock on the weapons team. So that's not a great start, is it? Uh, so we'll put down our shock near the guy and take off his second in his helper uh, however let's just quickly check if that's one of the leaders a one and it is no it's not so they're safe and then we've got five hits on the rifles so again six of the kills five is shock so they've taken three shock on there so Thankfully they've got a senior leader kicking about with them, so at least he can reduce some of that shock, because that's going to affect their firing. But that's the first round of firing. So the Rebels retain that phase, because they've got their double six. So we're on to their second phase. 
So that five will give them a chain of command points. They need to build those up because they want to ambush that ATST if they can. Uh, two fours are two senior leaders. Uh, a three is a junior leader, and then they've also got another one, which is a team as well. Okay, so the seven rebel senior leader has reduced shock over here uh, by two, and then he's getting them to fire as well. This is their commander, uh, the sergeant. Uh, and then they've also, with their junior leader, brought on another section here uh, at the other end of the barricade. Both of these are going to pour fire into these stormtroopers here. Still in light cover again, uh, but we're starting with these. These are reduced by one dice because of their shock. Uh, so we'll start with them. So they're rolling nine dice. Uh, let me just check two fours. Yeah, there's nine dice there. Send so again, four, five, six as a hit. So let's see. So we haven't got so many hits here. The rebels just don't have the firepower that the stormtroopers do. Uh, but that's four hits. So two on each, uh, one on the weapons team, uh, which is already down to one anyway, and then also one on the rifle, uh, two on the rifles teams, two on the weapons team. So we'll do the weapons team first of all. Six is a kills, four, five shock. Five, so that's a shock on that weapons team. That could have been worse. It could have wiped out that uh, repeating blaster. So there's no kills there. And then the second hit is on the rifles, or blasters, should we say. Three and a two is nothing in cover. So they got off pretty lightly there. So let's have a look at the next roll. This is the rebels up there. They're firing this way. Same again, light cover. Four, five, six is to hit. And again, this is not a good number. Uh, that's only three hits. So one hit on the weapons team, two hits on the rifles. So we'll do the rifles first. The blasters. So that's one kill and one shock. Let's get that shock on there, and then let's see how uh, if that kill is on one of the on one of the leaders. One of it is. Uh, no, it's not. So it's another one. The drone troopers, uh, and then we also have that hit on the weapons team. So again, six a kill and a one. No, that's nothing. So they've only taken one casualty from all that firing. Apparently it's the stormtroopers that are rubbish at firing, but anyway, let's see what they do. Uh, it's six does nothing on its own, so they have a senior leader, a senior leader, a team, and a junior leader as well. So again, another pretty good mix actually. Bounty hunters, we don't need that scum. Here come Bob Fett and Bosk to join the Imperials. They've appeared on the left flank, and they're going to take some shots at the rebels behind the barricades. Let's see how they do. So between them they've got a carbine blaster and a blaster firing. The blaster is only firing one, the carbine's firing three, but it needs to hit on fives and sixes. The blaster hits on four, five, six. So let's see if they do strike their target. Uh, so the carbine has missed completely, but the blaster at least has hit one. So that's going to be a hit on the troops rather than the weapons team. So roll again, six is a kill, four is nothing. Then the Imperials are using a senior leader. Uh, he has reduced their shock and then getting them to fire again at those rebels over there. So uh, let's see what they get. Uh, fives and six, four, five, six is a hit in this case. So let's just get rid of our misses. That uh, Imperial firepower is really showing. I mean, as I say, the stormtroopers are supposed to miss, but they're, they're doing a lot better than the rebels at this point. Six hits. Three on the weapons team, three on the rifles. So let's get those rifles done. Again, six of the kills, five is shock. So we've got one kill. Let's see if that's on a senior, on a on a uh, leader, on the senior or the junior. So look, a one and it is. It is. So let's see which one it is. One to three, it's the junior leader. Four to six, it's the senior leader. Uh, so it's on the junior leader of the section. See what happens to him. One is killed outright. Two or three, he's wounded. Uh, until the end of the turn, four, five, six, he's lightly wounded and reduces his activations. So six, he's lightly wounded. That is going to be a bad things happen roll as well, though, on the uh, on the Imperial, on the Rebels, first of all. But first of all, let's see what happens with this weapons team, because they may get wiped out and that'll be another bad things happen. So again, six of the kills. Uh, five is shock, so that only goes puts their shock up by up to two, so not as bad as it could have been. So now we're rolling on the bad things happen table with a junior leader killed, uh, sorry wounded. Uh, one or two, it's no effect. 
six is minus two points. So the rebels have dropped straight down to six points. So then the Imperials are using their last junior leader to activate the ATST, and that is firing a full barrage of its uh, twin guns and its light lasers at the uh, rebels behind those bases. Again, the same section, we're trying to destroy it as quick as possible. Uh, so this is at effective range, so they're looking for fives and sixes to hit on this. So let's have a look. Uh, that is quite a lot of hits for the numbers that they need. So let's just get rid of all our misses. Yeah, that is a lot. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten hits. So again, five on that weapons team, five on the rifles. So let's do the weapons team first of all. Six as a kills again, as we know. Uh, two fives is two more shock. Uh, so that takes that up to four. Just on that one team. So that's taking two off their dice rolls anyway. Uh, but no kills. And then we've got five on the rifles. And again, same again, six of the kills. Uh, so we've got one kill and one shock. So let's get that shock on straight away. We've got to see if the kill is on that leader. Well, two leaders in there. We've got the junior and the senior again. So one, and it is. No, it's not. It's one of the Rebel scum anyway, so that's them off. Things are heating up, but the Rebels are still holding pretty firm at least. Uh, let's see if they can hopefully get some anti-vehicle weapons on the table. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got five, gives them a chain of command points, so that's up to a two. Uh, three, junior leader, another junior leader, a two and a one. So that could be combined into another junior leader as well. Or they could even just combine some of those into a senior leader. So the rebels used a junior leader to bring on, well, a section to bring on this section here, but they're hiding at the moment. So they're going to be using the mobile defence to see which of these two sides needs reinforcements. This section over here is firing with a junior leader, again, at the stormtroopers. And then the senior leader is, uh, they've combined uh, the other dice into a senior leader. Uh, and it's this one down here, the sergeant. He's reduced, or oh, she, should I say, has reduced their shock. Uh, and then they are also firing over here at these stormtroopers. So we'll start with them. Uh, we're looking again, four, five, six of the hits. Oh, my, just one. <laughs> one hit. Uh, so that's going to be on the stormtrooper rifle section. So, uh, rifle team, sorry. So let's see, six of the kill. No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, but then we've got the other section up at the top there firing as well. So same again, four, five, six is a hit in this case. And we've got three this time. So one on the right on the weapons team, two on the rifles. So we'll do the rifles team. Uh, four, they are in light cover, so they take a shock for that. At least. But that's all. And then on the weapons team, it's one hit. So again, six is a kill. No, nothing. Absolutely and utterly useless. Right, the Imperials, what can they do? Let's have a look. Two fives gives them two chain of command points, takes them up to three. Uh, then they have a senior lead, uh, junior leader and two ones, so that's either two teams or a section. Right, the Imperials have used their junior leader in the ATST. I was going to get that junior leader down there to uh, reduce some shock, but the firepower from the ATST is better than theirs. So he's this is firing with its laser cannons again at the same rebels. We've also brought on a section over here. They've burst out into the open. They're going to try to shut down that uh, left-hand flank of the rebels, or at least threaten them because they're taking too much fire over there. Uh, they're 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 meat. Uh, they're meat shields, so you know that's what they're meant to do. They're meant to be out in the open fighting. So we'll start with this. This is firing first of all at those rebels behind. Needs fives and sixes for the range. Uh, so let's pluck out the misses as we normally do. And uh, it's not as good a shot as it was before, but still, I suppose, decent. Six hits. Uh, three on the weapons team, or the one man, and three on the rifles. So let's do the weapons team first of all. So a five is another shock. Remember, they're in heavy cover. We are. 
They are keeping their heads down. Uh, they've currently got five shock on that entire section, so they're okay. And then on the rifles, let's have a look. We've got five is another shock. So they're now six shock. And they have in that section uh, two, four, six, seven men. So a few more kills uh, and a few more shock and that will start to pin that unit. So we've got the Stormtroopers over here hitting on four, fives and sixes against these ones here. Again in heavy cover. Let's see what we've got. Uh, so there might be quite a lot of hits here. So let's just have a look. With the heavy firepower, two, four, six, seven hits. So three on their weapons team, four on the rifles. Let's do the rifles. Six of the kills. Uh, so that's one kill and one shock as well. And the one kill, let's just see if that's on their junior leader. One or two. No, it's not. Sorry, one. It was. No, so that's uh, just one of the rifles. And then we also have another hit, uh, another three hits on the weapons team. Uh, so that's a, that's a kill and a shock. So again, let's see if it's the junior leader. No, it's not. Uh, so those tactics, although they seemed a bit foolhardy for the Stormtrooper, seem to have worked. They've uh, killed two and caused two shock. Okay, so back to our Rebels. See what they can pull out of here. Two sixes, they retain the phase at least, so that's going to be good for them. Uh, they've got a four, which is senior leader, a two and a one, which could be combined or it could be sections and teams. Right, the junior leader, <clears throat> they've given a junior leader over here, he is opening and getting a section, he's reduced shock, and he's also getting the section to fire of these stormtroopers in the open. Four, five, six is the hit, then five, six is the kills. Let's just see how many they actually hit. Uh, judging by what they've done so far, not a great deal. So that's five hits. So two on their weapons team, and then three on their rifles. So the rifles, five, six is the kills. Uh, three, four is shock, so that's two shock on the rifles, but no kills. And then two hits on that weapons team. Again, five, six has been kills. Uh, four, so no, that's another two shock on them. And then with their senior leader, she has reduced shock on both of these teams, and they are firing again at the stormtroopers in the bush down here. So four, five, six is a hit. Wow, that's more like it. Uh, if they couldn't be rolling like that before, five hits. Two on the weapons team, or weapons bloke, and uh, three on the rifles. So let's have a look at the rifles. Uh, five and a four is two shock, because they're in light cover. So that takes them up to three, but no kills. And then they've got the two hits on that weapons team. Uh, two twos is nothing, no effect. Okay, rebels are still in control, so let's see what their next phase does. Uh, four is a senior leader, uh, two threes and a one, so that's sections and teams or junior leaders as well. The rebels have brought on a fourth, their final section, uh, on to protect the shield generators at the back. They're using a, a junior leader to uh, reduce shock here again, and then also getting them to fire at the uh, advancing Imperials over here, again, who are in the open, so let's do that. Four, five, six is a hit, and uh, ooh, it's going from going up and down really. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five hits there. So two on that weapons team, five, three on the rifles. So let's try them first of all. Five, six is the kills. So that's a kill and two shock. So they are now on four shock. They've also got a junior leader in there, so let's see if he's one of the ones that's killed. One, he is hit. No, so it's just one of the stormtroopers. Then we've got those two hits on the weapons team. Let's see what happens. So that's a kill and a shock as well. So they are now up to three shock and lose another. Oh well, let's just see if it's the junior leader again. One. It is actually, it's a junior leader this time, so let's see what happens to him. Uh, a four, he is wounded, uh, he is wounded, uh, lightly wounded, so he's uh, his, re his actions are reduced by one. But that is a bad things happen table dice roll, so let's just see what happens with that. Junior leader wounded, a three, 
is one point off the Imperials force morale. Then we've got our Rebel senior leader, Sergeant, uh, reduced shock and then getting them to fire again at these stormtroopers in this cover. So let's see, four, five, sixes. Uh, we've got, uh, that's four hits. So again, two on the weapons team, two on the rifles. We'll do the rifles first. Uh, two sixes, so that's two kills. Let's see if that is one of the leaders. One or two it is. No, it's not, so it's two of the stormtroopers. And then we've also got two kills, two hits, should I say, on the weapons team. There's only one man in there. Now, two ones is nothing, but they are slowly grinding those uh, stormtroopers down. And we're back in the hands of the Imperials. Let's see what they can do this turn. We have, right, two fours is two senior leaders. A three is a junior leader. Uh, a two and a one. So that's teams and or sections. So we've got a lot of activity this time. The senior leader has reduced shock, getting that section to fire. They've used a section to bring on this section here to uh, fire as well and advance as quick as they can. They've also brought forward their team as well of bounty hunters and they're getting the ATST to fire as well over here. So they're going to be a hell of a lot firing onto this, onto this uh, rebel section there. Okay, so our first shots are coming from the ATST, so it's firing lasers and uh, its cannons, and it needs fives and sixes to hit on this one, so ooh, that's not a great number. Uh, probably really should be moving that forward. It's just sitting at the back doing nothing, but that's four hits, so two on that weapons team, two on the rifles. Do the rifles first. Uh, they're behind cover, so a five is one shock, and a three is nothing. And then we've got two hits on our rifle team uh, on the weapons team so that's a shock on the weapons team uh two shock on the weapons team sorry four five is shock behind heavy cover no sorry five is shock behind heavy cover doing too much for them there we are so they're only on one shock then we have our stormtrooper section here so that's got eight from their gun one two three four from their blasters, so that's <coughs> 12 in total. Let's have a look again. Four, five, six is a hit. Uh, that's more like it. Uh, so that's quite a good number. So that's three, five, uh, nine hits. So again, four on that weapons team and five on the rifles. So the rifles are taking uh, two shock. No, sorry, it's fives, isn't it? It's shock in that case. No, no, so nothing. And the weapons team. Uh, six is a kill, a shock as well, but let's let's just see if that shock is there or not, uh, because it may be a hit on, the, on one of the leaders, so one or two it is. No, it's not, so it has wiped out that weapons team. So that is going to be a roll on the bad things happen, first of all. So team wiped out, a three is minus one point. So the Rebels are now down to five on their force morale. Uh, not looking good, they're looking a bit shaky. Uh, if the Imperials can keep this up, uh, they might be able to break their morale. So we've got the next uh, group here. And we've got two, uh, two, four, six, seven rifles firing, blaster rifles, plus the heavy blaster so same again four five six is a hits so a lot of hits this time who said stormtroopers can't hit uh, there's no weapons team in there anymore <clears throat> so this is just going to be all on those rifles six is a kills <laughs> not a single one and only one shock <laughs> There you go, stormtroopers can't fire. So literally, that's taking them up to two shock. Those barriers are really doing well. The rebels are taking a battering and their morale is already pretty shaken now. It's down to five. Any worse than that, and they start losing command dice. But let's just see what they got for this turn. So we've got a six. Uh, on its own, it does nothing. They've got a five, that's a chain of command points. So that takes them up to three. And let's get those out of there. And then we've got a four senior leader a three junior leader and a one a team. So the rebels really need to start causing uh, casualties on these Imperials. So they are using their junior leader over here. He is firing 
uh, he's getting the section over here to fire. Now, which is going to be better, the Bounty Hunters or the Stormtroopers? Stormtroopers will absorb a lot of hits, uh, but they will have less effect when it comes to rolling for bad things happen. So I'm going to go with the Stormtroopers, because they really need to break them as much as possible. And they're close with the amount of shock they've got. Four, five, sixes to hit. They're in the open. So any hits are probably going to be quite devastating. Uh, all four of them. <laughs> so what have we got? We've got two on that it's weapons team, two on the rifles. So then we go rifles first, fives and sixes are kills. So that's one kill. Uh, and no shock, but it could be on their junior leader. Let's have a look. No, it's not. So it's another stormtrooper off. And then two hits on that weapons team. And two ones is nothing. Uh, but they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men in there, and they've got seven shock. So they are currently on line for breaking. But we'll see what happens with that. Then on this side of the table, the rebels have actually brought in their uh, anti tank rocket. Uh, that is going to fire at the ATST, but first of all, uh, the junior leader is reduced shock here. Sorry, senior leader is reduced shock, and then firing at these stormtroopers in the open. So let's see if we can hit uh, four, five, sixes. So that's yes, that's four hits. Again, there's a weapons team in there, so that's two hits on that, and then two hits on the rifles. Rifles first. A four is a shock on the rifles, and a one is nothing. And then we've got the hits on the weapons team. Uh, and that's a kill and a shock. But let's see if that kill is on their junior leader. A one, and he may be hit. No, it's not, so it's one of the stormtroopers. Well, not too bad. And then we've got the rocket firing. So it's going to need a five or a six. That hasn't moved. They haven't moved. So we need so we need a five, five or above on 2d6. This, uh, I don't have the stats for it, but I'm going to say it's got a strike of four. The ATST has an armor of four. So it's going to be four versus four if it hits. So let's try it first of all. Five or, five or above and it hits. A six, so it has hit. We've got the three, uh, four strikes. Uh, it needs fives and sixes because it's firing to its front aspect. So that's one hit. The ATST is defending on four armor dice. Uh, so that's a six. So that's zero net hits. So on equal saves and hits, we roll again. A five, one shock, and it reverses immediately on D6. So let's see how far it goes. It's actually just six inch on the board, so it will only fall back. It won't fall off the board just yet. <laughs> no, but it will fall right to the very edge of the board. Well, things are really heating up. Uh, the rebels are throwing everything they can at the Imperial Assault at this point. Let's just see what the Imperials can do this turn. Right, we got a four, five, a five as well. So the five takes up their chain of command up to four. They've got a two, a two, and a one, and then the CDN leader as well. Okay, so they can probably do some good firing out of that. Okay, we've got a lot of firing. With uh, the junior leader is in the uh, ATST is firing at the rocket team with everything he's got. He's reduced shock as well and he's firing everything they've got at that rocket team, so fives and sixes. And then we've got the senior leader has reduced shock on this section, then getting them to fire at the remains of that section. This section is also firing at the remains of that section. We're starting with the ATST firing at hardcover, fives and sixes because of the range. Uh, one, two, three, four, five hits, and there's only two in that team. So let's see what we get. They are in hardcover, so six is a kill, five is shock. Uh, so that's one of them is killed, so they can carry on firing, uh, but no shock. So then we go on to, I'll take that figure off in a second, then we'll go on to this section here. These are firing at the rebels in the, <coughs> in the, in the barricades. So let's have a look. Uh, so we're looking at fives and four fives and sixes this time. Again, we've these the Imperials are looking to try to break as many of these rebel sections as possible. So that's uh, two, four, six, eight hits. There are no teams in there. Well, there's one team in there, so that's all. It's all the hits go on them. Six of the kills. 
Uh, five is shock. There's nothing, not a single hit, not a single effect. And then finally, we have the final section firing as well. So they're same again, four, five, sixes. Uh, so what do we got here? Uh, again, similar number of hits by the looks of it. Two, four, six, seven this time. And same again, six has been kills. Uh, so we've got one kill and one shock. Let's see if it's on a leader, one or a two. It is. It is. So which one is it? One to three junior, four to six senior. It's the junior leader again. He can only take one more hit anyway because he's already wounded. He only has a level of two, so he has been killed. So that's a bad thing's happened straight away for the rebels again. And let's have a look at that. So we roll that dice. And that is a five on junior leader killed. That is two points off. So they are now down onto three on their force morale. Oh, this is it's starting to break. It really is. Okay, so with the rebels now on a force morale of three, they've reduced their dice by two. So they're down to they're down to three now. <clears throat> this may be a point that they probably start pulling back some of those front line infantry units if they can. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Otherwise, they're just going to take more and more morale hits. But let's have a look and see what they can do. And we've got a six alone does nothing, but they've got a section and a junior leader at least. So they may be able to at least pull one section back out of the firing. Unfortunately, the rebels didn't have a great deal of choice with that dice roll. But what they've done is they've pulled out their battered section, for, got them back so they're out of fire now at least. They, they're not going to take any more hits. And they brought in a fresh section. Now they had to move them using three dice. Uh, because two probably just wouldn't get them to where they wanted to needed to be. Uh, so they used three dice. Because they moved at the double to get into this position, the vault, uh, each of the, uh, the the teams have taken a shot, uh, a hit of shock. But that's the least of their problems at the moment. But at least they've got a nice, a nice fresh section to face down these stormtroopers as they come across open ground. Well, now we're back with the Imperials. Let's see what they rustle up. Uh, six on its own will do nothing. Uh, but they have a three, which is a junior leader, a one, a two, and another one. So we could combine some of those into junior leaders or even into two sections. So they've got a little bit more choice than the Rebels did. With that Rebel rocket launcher still in the tower, the ATST is using the junior leader to fire across at the tower to try to destroy that threat. So we're looking at fives and sixes. Let's have a look at what we got. Um, they are also in heavy cover as well. But there's only one of them left, so they may take them out. So we've got three, six, seven hits on that team. Let's have a look. Uh, six is a kill, so that's enough. So that's another bad things happen roll for the Rebels. So let's get that done because that's a team destroyed. So we roll our dice. <coughs> we have a six. And a team wiped out. Is minus one point, so the rebels are now on two points. But let's just fetch that casualty out of there. We've then got our two stormtrooper sections. These are also firing, so these are firing into here, and these are firing into here. Uh, they're attempting to really break the morale at this point of the rebels. They need to bring it down by two. So if they could hit a junior or a senior leader in here and kill them. Then, or even wound them, that might be enough to, to do some damage. So we start with a smaller one here, <coughs> four, five, sixes, and let's have a look. we'll get rid of our misses. So there we have five hits. There's two teams in there, so two hits are on the uh, weapons team, three hits are on the blasters. So the blasters, <coughs> they're in heavy cover. So fives and sixes are what we're looking for. They don't have any. The weapons team, fives and sixes again. So the six is a kill, the three does nothing. But that kill may be on one of the leaders. So we roll again, a one and it is. No, it isn't. So it's taking a hit on the weapons crew guy there. <coughs> and then we got the final section firing over here. One dice off because of their shock. So same again, firing again. <clears throat> Four, five, sixes to hit. Oh, that's not as good as previously. 
so that is four hits, two on each. So let's do the blaster rifles first of all. Two and a one is nothing. And then we do our crewmen, our weapons crew. Four and a three again is nothing. So the rebels have survived yet another round of firing. So now because the rebels are down on two, uh, the opponents, the Imperials, get to remove one of their jumping off points. They have done. It's one of the ones that's in the uh, compound itself, so that's shutting down their choices. But they're still only rolling three dice. Let's see what they are. Six. Does nothing on its own. Not really what they needed. A two and a one. Uh, that could be a team and a section, or a junior leader. Uh, not a great choice. So they've gone for the junior leader over here. He's reduced shock. Uh, and then getting the section to fire at the stormtroopers in the open there. So four fives and sixes we're looking at. Let's see how many hits we have there. Uh, that is only five hits. So two are on the weapons team and three are on the uh, blaster rifles. So let's do theirs. Five and sixes are kills. So that's one kill. Might be on their junior leader. So let's have a look. No, it's not. So it's one of the stormtroopers and then two hits on that. Uh, weapons team and a four and a three is two shock so that goes up to three no other hits for them unfortunately so back with the Imperials <coughs> and we've got oh that's a lot of ones they've got two twos so that's two sections two ones and a three so it could be junior leaders it could be sections and teams let's have a think about this one a little bit complicated Right, over here we've got the Imperials laying down a barrage, literally. So we've got the Bounty Hunters, they're firing over there at that section. We've got this section is going to fire at the uh, the Rebels there. We've got the Scouts who've just appeared with their junior leader. They are firing at the Rebels there. And then we've also got the ATST is firing at the Rebels there as well. So they're going to take some right hammer in this one. So let's start with the um, Bounty Hunters. Uh, we need four, five, six on the white dice and five, six on the other dice so let's just see what we got uh, so that's three hits from the uh, carbine so that is on a team and a blaster team so we'll do the heavy weapons team first of all six that's a kill is it on their uh, squad leader a one no so that's taking out that team so that's going to be a bad things happen roll then we've got the two hits on the rifles uh, a six and a four is another kill, so let's see if that's the junior leader as well. A one and it is. No, it isn't. So it's just one of the rifles. But we've already got a bad things happen straight away for that loss of that team. So team wiped out. Roll the dice. A five. Minus one point. So the rebels are now absolutely wavering on the edge of breaking completely. They're down to one on their force point. Uh, force morale. And that was just from the Bounty Hunters, so they've done pretty well. Then we've got our section here. So these are firing here with their uh, blaster and their uh, rifles. Let me just grab that dice, there we go. So we're looking at four, five, sixes here to hit. So that's a miss. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, quite a few misses there, only three hits. <clears throat> so one of those hits lands on the weapons team, two on the rifles. So the weapons team... There's only one of them, so it may wipe them out. There's six and it does. No, it doesn't. No effect. And the two hits on the rifles. Two sixes, so that's two kills. Let's see if it is one of the, jun the junior or the senior leader, because there's two in there. One or a two, and it is. No, it isn't. But it's two of the rifles, so that's one and two off. Well, the rebels aren't doing very well at this point. <coughs> then we've got the scouts, and we fire with those. They're hitting on a 5 or a 6 because of the range. They've only got blaster pistols. So let's have a look at that. 5s and 6s this time round. Miss, miss. 3 hits. Again, 1 hit on that weapons team. 6 and he's killed. 5 is shot. Neither. And then 2 hits on the rifles. Same again. 6, that's another kill. And a 2 is not, nothing. So they've taken another kill. Uh, see if it's the, the leaders. One of the leaders. A 1 and it is. No, it isn't. So it's again another rifleman. God, they're going down like nine pins. Uh, this really must be almost on the last phase of the game. And then finally, 
We've got the ATST firing both of its weapons, and again, uh, the two laser cannons at that target. Uh, and these are hitting on fives and sixes. So, what have we got? I'll get the ones that are hit. One, two, three, four, five. Only five hits this time. So, I'll get rid of those. Two hits on that weapons team, three hits on the rifles. So, the weapons team takes uh, three and a one is nothing. And then finally, the hits on the rifles. A six is a kill, a four is nothing. Let's see if it's a junior or a senior leader. One and it is. No, it isn't. So another rifle is taken down. So in total, uh, the Rebels have just lost six of their men in that turn. Well, the Rebels took an absolute battering that turn, so their force morale dice is now down to two. So let's see what they can or can't do with that. Five gives them a chain of command points. That takes them up to four. And the four is a senior leader. Uh, maybe it's time to get them to start pulling out, I think. Given the battering they just took, the Rebels have decided uh, honour is a better part of valour and they've fallen back using the senior commander's uh, command initiatives to basically pull himself back and also the two other sections as well, or what remains of them. So they're now in cover at least, they can't be shot at this turn. Uh, I don't know about you, but I can, I can hear the opening bars of the Imperial March starting to play. Let's see what the Imperials do in this turn. Okay, two sixes, they retain the phase, that's not good for the Rebels. Uh, a three is a, a junior leader, junior leader, and then they have a four, which is a senior leader. So that's, again, a lot of things that can happen here. With the Rebels losing their position and falling back, the Imperials have taken a chance and have moved forward using their senior leader. Uh, he's pushed everybody forward in this area, on this flank, including, well, the ATST has brought itself forward as well. So uh, they are tightening their grip on the Rebels' enclave at this point. There's still a remaining Rebel section over there and a fresh one at the back, but I don't think this game is going to last much longer. Okay, so the Rebels, what have they got? Two fives, a chain of command points. So they could bring on a team if they had one, or they could end a turn, but for no reason really. There's not a great deal they can do there, so let's just go straight on to the... They can interrupt the Imperial's turn, which they probably will do, but right now let's just roll the Imperial dice and see what they get. So we've got a six, does nothing on its own, a two, a two, a two, and a one. So that could be a combination, again, of uh, various things. Uh, it may turn that into a senior leader and get some of those sections moving forward again. So the Imperials did a combination. Uh, they got their senior leader to get the three sections over there moving forward. They're actually into the compound now. And then they use junior leader in the ATST, which is now just going to strike these, fire at these uh, with their uh, lasers. So let's have a look. Fives and sixes are hits. So we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six hits. That is just one team, so all those hits are going on them, but they are in heavy cover. So again, six is a kills, five is shock. Uh, what have we got here? We've got one kill, one shock. Let's uh, put that shock on them, just quickly while I remember. And then we've got the one kill. Let's see if it's on their senior, their uh, junior leader. No, it's not. So it's one of the rifles that have taken another casualty. However, I just forgot. The Rebels are going to spend that chain of command point they've got, uh, chain of command dice, and they are going to fire. Before this guy was killed, they're going to fire. I'm going to allow him this. Uh, it seems unsportsmanlike not to. So all uh, five of the remaining Rebels are going to fire at the Bounty Hunters there, so they're looking at four, five, sixes to hit. So that's all of them hit, and there's only two Bounty Hunters there, so let's see what happens. Uh, they're in the open, five, six of the kills. So we've got one kill and four shock. One of them is actually a junior leader, so let's just see which one it is. Uh, a one, and it's a junior leader, is hit. No, it's not, so it's the it's Bosk has been killed. And then he takes four shock, but uh, junior leaders don't take shock. So that's basically, uh, well, almost wiped him out, but not. I'm not entirely sure what happens at that point, but basically he can't take any shock. But at least they've killed Bosk. And now it's the Rebels' turn, actual turn itself. So three and a one. 
Mm, maybe combine that into something. Well, let's have a think. It's the return of the Jedi. The rebels have pulled out Luke at the last minute and he's jumped out uh, right onto the scout troopers. Uh, now, there's not any real rules for uh, melee in the uh, Star Wars updates, so I'm going to kind of wing it a little bit. Luke can take four hits because he's a senior leader. He also has a leader uh, ability of four as well. He is... Uh, so that's his abilities there. He also has, he's also rank higher than them because he's definitely elite. He's Luke Skywalker for God's sake. Uh, he also gets his one for him. His lightsaber also gives him another 3d6 as well in combat. So he's rolling these, so he needs fives and sixes. These are just rolling five because he hasn't rolled, moved any d6 or they haven't got any SMGs or anything like that. And as I say, any hits on these uh, are going to be fives and six and to be kills. Luke will be able to take four hits before he is killed. So let's see what happens. First of all, does he carve his way through these uh, this section? So fives and sixes, and he does. And he's got one, two, three kills, uh, including one shock. Every six gives a shock. So that's three of them down. One, two, three. So he's cut his way through half of them. Now they fight back and as I say that they're only rolling six dice the amount of men that there is fives and sixes so he's taken two wounds this time so that does reduce his uh, initiatives down to two instead of two uh, he wins though and the scout troopers are thrown back six inches that's probably a pretty realistic uh, outcome, I think, for Luke Skywalker turning up at the very last minute. Well, that was an utter surprise at the very end, well, pretty much at the end of the game. The Stormtroopers, if they can take Luke down, they will win. Uh, but let's see if they can actually do that. What we got then? We got two senior commanders, uh, a junior commander, junior leader, a two and a one. So, well, they may be able to actually take Luke out of the fight with that lot. Well, let's see what they do. So we're going to start over here. The Imperials have brought on their senior commander, senior leader. And he, she has reduced shock on this section here. Then they're using a junior commander, Boba Fett, to fire his carbine at the rebels here behind the barriers. And then we're going to move on to the firing of Luke. So we'll start here. Fives and sixes are hits. So that's two hits. Uh, it's only one team. Let's see how many kills. Six of the kills, five is shock. And it's neither. So Boba has fired his last. And then over here, everything is turning its attention on Luke. If we can knock Luke out, they will win. Because uh, the least they can get on a force morale roll is one. Uh, minus one off the Rebels for force morale. So that will end the game. They need to hit him twice and cause two kills on him. And that's going to be enough to uh, take him out. So we're starting first of all with the ATST over here. So let's get it going. It is firing at him in the open, but at long range. So we're looking at fives and sixes. One, two, three, four, five. And five hits. Uh, Luke will not take shock, but he will take kills on fives and sixes. Uh, and that is three hits, three kills and two shock. So that's it. Didn't need to know all anymore. The ATST did the work for him. Uh, it's taken Luke out. Uh, as I say, just to check, 100% on the bad things happen table, when a senior leader is killed, the least they can get is one point. Let's roll the dice just to see what they get. So minus one. Uh, sorry, see what it is. It's a two. They actually lose two points. So that takes them into minus one uh, force morale. So the game is over, the Imperials have won, they've captured the uh, the compound and they've taken Luke out with it. So with the taking down of Luke, that's it, game is over. The Imperials have won, they've stormed the compound, managed to capture it, they've stopped the rebels from escaping or at least destroyed this small base on this little outpost. Uh, this is how the table looks at the very end of the game. So we've got the two shattered uh, rebel sections had fallen back behind this cover here. Uh, near the jumping off point. Luke obviously taken down by the ATST and the 
If it wouldn't have been for that, it would have been the Stormtroopers and Scouts anyway. At the back here, we've still got a full, fresh uh, Rebel section waiting to go into action, but not anymore, of course. And then over on this side, we've got, again, the remnants of this section as well. They were slowly getting whittled down. Uh, the Stormtroopers here had managed to get this far, uh, but then were kind of stopped by the firepower of the Rebels. Uh, they were taking quite a lot of uh, shock, and also we lost Bosk as well as part of the assault. The ATST kind of lingering about at the back, but it did its job. Uh, it's hard to say who was the man of the match, really. I think probably the Stormtroopers on the right flank, or even the ATST, because he managed to take out that rocket section in the tower, along with uh, finally taking Luke out as well. So, casualty wise, let's have a quick look. The uh, Imperials lost, let's see, three scouts, Bosk, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stormtroopers. And meanwhile, over here, the uh, rebels, they lost, uh, sorry, it's a bit dark, but we lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen in total. So, pretty much two sections. They still had their senior commander, he never actually got onto the table and one of their jumping off points was removed uh, because of their morale loss. So that was it. Great game, really enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Uh, very exciting, right up to the very end, even with Luke's appearance and uh, his taking down of those scout troopers. Uh, just I think that was probably a perfect end to... Uh, the uh, perfect Star Wars game at this point. So I'm going to be playing some more Chain of Command in uh, Star Wars, definitely. As I say, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed playing it. If you have, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, do check out my Patreon as well. Uh, it's uh, it's all appreciated. Any Anything that can help me out uh, produce these videos and make them better in the future is all appreciated. So... Once again, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Star Wars Chain of Command.